Injury update. Um, did he mention Fergus, Sean O'Brien and, and Brian? Give us an injury update ahead of, of the Ulster game. Yeah, uh, Brian O'Driscoll is looking pretty good. Um, he'll train today, hopefully, and uh, get through that. Um, Ferg um, obviously went through the procedure and the protocols after during the game when he got injured. Um, he seems to be coming along all right, so we're going to give him the best uh, opportunity to be right for the weekend and obviously follow all the medical protocols. Um, and Sean is a day-by-day -day, um, thing as well with him, so we're, he's got a bit of bruising there on his knee and things like that, so we just need to wait and see, and, uh, and obviously we're going to hope that he's ready, but we've got guys that can fill their spots and hopefully um, and do the business, you know. But five days ahead of the match, you're confident that, that, that Brian O'Driscoll will start for Leinster? Uh, but we're hoping, yeah. I think uh, probably there's a 70 percent chance, you know. So that's pretty good. Um, obviously, uh, you know, having the weekend for him to freshen up and get over the, the back spasm, and then get through a couple of trainings this week. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow we'll know a lot more. So fingers crossed. It's been a huge fortnight with with, with must-win games for Leinster. How difficult is it coming off the back of, of the Ireland Challenge Cup? going into a huge encounter with Ulster, a different prospect because there'll be so much familiarity between the two sides. Yeah, it is difficult and, and you have to take into account the Glasgow game before the uh, Amlin final, that was physical, there was a lot of blood and uh, the boys are pretty beaten up after that and I think uh, you know Glasgow have done well this year and, and it showed the change room afterwards, both teams were pretty bloodied up and then Obviously, the French boys uh, got stuck into us a bit in the weekend, and, and you know we, we always try to look at the positives. Uh, obviously, obviously, Ulster are, are fresh and ready to go, and they've been tweaking things, and and would have watched our game in the weekend. But hopefully, uh, we can th these last two games are positive for us in terms of we've been playing and, and that sort of thing. So uh, we can't dwell too much on on things that we um, that's out of our control, you know. The Rabo Pro 12 final, given what's happened in the past and how close Leinster have gotten in the past, it makes it a box that the club would, would seriously like to take. Yeah, certainly, and, and winning trophies and winning games, and, and certainly the, the Rabo is a long, it's a long season, and in Ulster they finished at the top, so I'd say that you know they're definitely favourites, and uh, and for us, you know, we've lost the last couple of years, but Ulster they lost in the Heineken Cup last year, so both teams have had that finals feeling that hasn't been great, and uh, I suppose hopefully we can learn from the from those and, um, and rectify some of the things that you know you need to do in a final you know so hopefully some of the experience there and just lessons that we've learned as a as a whole group coaches and players and management that uh, we can get it right this week. I have to ask you any any emotion around this week with with, with Joe's final week in charge of Leinster before he goes? Uh, he, he hasn't changed one bit you know um, and, and he's still the same old Joe he'll, he'll always be like that his work his work ethic is second to none and uh, there's, there's, everything's covered, so I think it won't be till after the game um, that we'll probably sit down maybe early next week before he uh, changes his uniform um, that we can uh, en enjoy his last season with us, you know. So uh, we'll see what happens, yeah. Nothing's been mentioned so far, and I don't think nothing will be either. Can I just ask one question then about the um, Ulster's home and home advantage this is their home game how does it work in terms of management where are you going to sit home home changing room that kind of thing yeah good question because uh, we uh, in terms of where we sit and stuff not 100% sure yet um, I think change rooms will probably stay the same but there's a few little things that you, you had know, the home change room last weekend yeah yeah we did yeah um, but uh, we'll see what happens this week and and, um, and in terms of that yeah so we, at least we've had a kind of a a, uh, a taste of what to expect last week and uh, things were a bit different in their home ground for that as well even though it was uh, technically a home, home, we played at home but um, yeah so we learned a lot from that as well, there's a few little changes so uh, um, could right. be adaptable. Ulster at home are the home team this weekend? Yes. So if they wanted they could play a little bit of psychological funny games and say they want the home dressing room? Yeah well I'm not 100% sure, I won't speculate on any of that yet so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens you know, we'll be prepared for either or and at the end of the day Get your kit on, your boots on, hopefully we can get out there and get into it, you know. Yeah.